All right, so we are back with Escalation Protocol, and there is a glitch, a cheese, whatever you want to call it, where you can just farm the final boss over and over and over and not have to sit there and redo the entire thing. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. What's going on, party people? It is your boy, Coop. And this video should be short and sweet, um, like a midget covered in sugar, right? I just made that up off the top of my head. If you're a midget and you're offended, I'm sorry. So here's what we're going to do. This boss is real easy. This is the final boss for this week. It'll work with any of them. Obviously, take out the shriekers. Just really focus on the ads. Now, you have plenty of time to get his health down low. But you are not wanting to kill him, so just be sure you get his health down low, um, and low enough that a couple Nova Bombs can take him out. You're going to want to have a couple dudes hanging around with the shotgun, you know, to boop him. And I'm obviously talking about the Void shotgun, the exotic, the master race, the one and only tractor cannon. So you're going to want to boop him with that right... Um, Wait till about three or so seconds are left. Have some guys come up and boop him. Maybe even with two seconds left, they boop him. And then the warlock comes and Nova bombs him right at zero seconds. I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. We were able to do this over and over and over. So if you get it right, um, then it will take you back one level. So you get to pick up the loot from him because you kill him. And he's the one who drops this shotgun, the Ikalos, whatever it is. You know, That's the one where you like slap somebody in the face, and then you get more damage. It's kind of like real life. That's what I think happens in real life. You know, you run up to someone on the street, you slap them, suddenly, like, you're way stronger, at least in their eyes. They're like, oh my god, this guy must be crazy, he just slapped me in the face. So, that's all you really have to do for this, guys. And really, playing this after they uh, nerfed Escalation Protocol, as far as the difficulty, it is not hard at all. I mean, nine men is overkill. I said nine men, like it's soldiers in war. Nine men. But it really seems like overkill. It's really not that difficult at all. I mean, I was I was using a 720 round, um, the Guiding Star, 720 round auto rifle pretty much the whole time. I just didn't need to use anything else. There was really no point. I don't even think I died until the final wave, and that's just because I was jacking around. And like it, I mean, it was just extremely easy now, so you don't need all nine people. But having two Warlocks Nova Bomb him at the end, I mean, you can see how low we have his health at. Um, that's what's going to um, really save you guys there. You go in, you boop him with the shotgun. You can have him tether too, but just be careful. If you get him too low early on, you know, and then you got some dingleberry running around with you, and he's going to sit there and like shoot him or accidentally tether him and blow a bunch of ads and that kills him or something. So don't get him down so low that just any little mistake from, you know, newbie McGee, you don't want that to have to cost you, and then you got to play from level one. Um, but what you can do is which is what I did. If you mess up, you go ahead and open the chest, and then if you have extra um, of the frequencies, you know, that you turn into um, Anna Bray. Sorry, I can't think of her name. I was trying to think of that. Once you turn those into Anna Bray, you can run between sessions. So, say they start up level one again, just ride your sparrow back to Anna Bray, turn in your stuff, and get a new key so it'll be charged up by the end, and then you can open up the chest again and get a new piece of armor. So, I did that yesterday. got a couple pieces of armor. Um, so, it's it's a pretty easy, easy concept and a really easy cheese. This is kind of similar to what there was in Destiny um, in the Vault of Glass where you could cheese that boss over and over, you know. But anyways, guys, that is going to be all for me today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if uh, y'all have tried this cheese or if you know something else. If there's another cheese I don't know about, it, I would absolutely love to hear what it is because I'm always interested in cheating, right? I mean, that's that's what we're all here for, right? We want to cheat. We're all interested in cheating. Obviously, I'm absolutely kidding. This isn't like cheating like on the level with The Division. I don't know if you guys played that, but my god, the cheating was out of control in that game. This is just being smarter than the developers, which really isn't that hard when you got Luke Smith working at Bungie. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, that is going to be all for me, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>